Hi guys, I'm Wolf, and this video is going to be an unboxing of Bluey's family home. Um, and also a big shout out to Olivia Plaz as well, who asked for a shout out a while back. So this isn't something I normally do, um, but I really like Bluey and I wanted to get the family home because I just really like Bluey. Uh, I didn't get the all singing, all dancing lights and sounds one, this is just the regular one which was the first one that came out. I don't know, last year, maybe the year before. Um, and I got the one that just has Bluey. I have a load of the figures, so I didn't need the extra figures with it. So, it's a little bit difficult to get into the into the picture, as you can see it's quite big. But here it is. Let's just put the camera up there like that. So it comes in this nice box here, and half of it, as you can see, is windows, so you can see the house. And the other half is a graphic of the other half of the house. Um, there's Bluey sat in the chair as well and on the back it tells you what comes in it you've got furniture items it tells you how tall it is and there's various other bits and pieces so you can get Bluey's family and the the four-wheel drive family vehicle which I have as well as the camper van as well I bought I bought it as a set and I think I imported it from America because they didn't sell it here at the time now you can buy it but I think it's two separate things but I got it all together as one thing. And it also says um, that the back of the house can be folded up so you can store everything in the back as you can see there. That makes like a patio thing and you can fold that up and uh, store all bits and pieces in it which is quite useful if you know your kids lose stuff I suppose. Like I said this isn't normally something that I do because I specialise in sort of robotic things but I like Louie and um, I've been going through a bit of a tough time lately with family stuff and I find uh, a source of comfort in Bluey so right let's get it out so we've got plenty of cardboard packing everywhere and there it is the house and as you can see there's no furniture the patio part is a separate piece and the furniture is all in this little bag here. So, um, the two beds here are included within it, and I think it's just to show the furniture in the house, because remember that was the side with the plastic window. Um, you can just untie them with the, the plastic bits at the bottom. So, well actually, you can't actually untie them. They're what is called tackets. Um, tackets are these plastic things. You often see um, labels and stuff in shops s sort of put on with these things called tackets. And the only reason I know what they're called is because I worked in a shoe store for eight years. And we had a tacket gun in there that we could put these things on with. So, there we go. And I think tacket is a strange word, but it's also the sound that it makes as well. So there's Bluey and Bingo's beds. I'm going to cut it away down here because it is a bit... <laughs> it's kind of like, move the bed out like that. And I'll move that down there like that. So there's the other bed. And then we've got another one down here, and it's the same thing. You just snip it open like that. It's easy to get into. I've just got to get both parts of it because it's a double, sort of a double thing. I think one part's underneath the plastic and one part's over it. There we go. That's the plastic removed. I say that's the plastic removed. Ah, they were both on the top of the, this bit. There's Bluey. Let's put Bluey on the bed for the moment while I move the chairs. And you just lift the house up. And I'll just bring it over here while I take these bits out from underneath. Because it's a bit easier. There we go. And 
very attached. The only sad thing is, is that it's left little holes in the floor where the chairs were held on. But, there you go. Luckily the chairs go over the holes so you don't really notice them as much. Open this. It comes with handy instructions. Um, which shows that the there's a little bit that goes on the front there which I suppose is like the, the railings and the steps leading down from the front door and then the, this bit goes on the back you just got to put it on the right way which is this way because I think or is it the other way oh no it is actually this way I think the picture does not help because the picture is actually in black and white and you can't really see it so I'm just going to have a look on this one itself, which is the front of it, which again does, oh here we go, the graphics are the, the back of the house. So these graphics are the back of the house. And it's a shame, you know, because it's not actually coloured in. I think I might actually paint it, because that would be a fun thing to do. So this bit just slots in here um, with some difficulty. I don't want to break it. I'm going to have to take the bits and pieces out from the house in order to do this and bring it over here. So if you're getting this for your kid you need parents to help, I think. It's not easy to do this. There we go. Oh, goodness. Well, that was hellish. That really was. I'm not going to take that off if I choose to paint it. I'm just going to leave it on the house and paint it. So there we go. We have actually got, why doesn't it just come like this? Why does it not come actually attached to it? Because that was really hard. I don't know if I was doing it wrong, but you just kind of like, the little, um, the little catches either end do actually push in. Um, so here we go. <sighs> okay, right. Now we can put the furniture back in. And I can show you what else comes with it. Okay, so this is what comes with it. You've got the steps for the porch at the front. I really hope that's not hard to get onto the house. You've got two little stools. The toilet, as they call in Australia, the dunny. I have family in Australia. There's the bath. The bathroom there. You've got fridge freezer that actually does open up. There we go. And there's all the food. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I thought I had it the right way up, and then I thought, no, surely the smaller part goes on the top, but no, it goes on the bottom. The counter can go in there, and the stools can go there, they fit perfectly. And there it is, Bluey's family home, after fighting with it for like five minutes. So I'll just close this again, like that, and turn it around, and we'll attach this bit to the other side. You can see where it goes, it's got two little things. Here goes. Ah, oh, well, that was easy. And this little door actually opens, I think, as well. I can just get my nail in there. There we go. It opens so that they can go in their house. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Um, it was a little bit worrying at one point, but I think it went okay. Um, what I'd like to do is perhaps try and paint the house a bit to make it more authentic. Um, 
and, and more like their house from the show, so I'll look into doing that. It'll be a fun little project. But like I said, I'm never removing that back panel again because it was so hell to get it on. Um, so if you want to see more unboxings, feel free to click either the boxes down below. Also, check out my Etsy and New Monday stores. I um, make plushies, take commissions, do art and things like that. Or you can buy me a coffee on Ko-fi if you enjoy what I do. Uh, everything's always appreciated. And that's all for this video. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.